Hi ho, freedom seekers! It's Monday morning, and that means it's time for another episode of Coffee and Cash. Hey, super pumped for today's episode. Uh, super great insight at the end. A very intriguing conversation that I had with a very interesting fella. But before we get to that, let's talk about a couple. Um, offers that I think you should be taking a look at. Now, these first two offers have a very specific niche. It's a little bit hard to run this sort of traffic if you're a paid media guy, but if you know how to do it, it's money in the bank. We are seeing, and no pun intended here, huge amount of success in the ED field, right? The male enhancement sector is doing great right now. Without further ado, let's talk about this first one, right? The name's great. Gorilla Flow. Can't help but laugh just a little bit. Gorilla Flow. It's actually a prostate offer. So the whole idea is a great VSL. It's from the dudes at uh, Divine Origins Health, which they just come out with bangers all the time. It goes through a guy who's, you know, struggling, really hits on his pain points. And you can imagine what happens with that with like prostate issues is feeling like you got to pee all the time, like waking up in the middle of the night. That can affect your life. Like, have you ever thought about that? It's not just like, okay, prostate, guy feels like he's got to pee, but he wakes up in the middle of the night, he can't sleep well. That can affect his life. That can affect all sorts of things that can actually shorten a dude's life. So this VSL is great. It's getting some good numbers. They see really great email numbers. So I've got like a buck 44 EPC on email here. That's great numbers. Conversions on Facebook, 7.42%. They're giving anywhere from 75 to 85%. Rev share, but if you're a select affiliate that is high quality and you have an account manager or you think you deserve an account manager, you can reach out to us. They're willing to give away a $135 to $150 CPA. Now, $150 CPA, that tells you one thing, right? That it really can convert, right? Because they've got to be making up for all that, all that change they're uh, handing out to you. So it's a great one to do. I'd really take a look at it. This other one, is similar, right? It's another male enhancement offer helping dudes out. This one is Massalong, right? M-A-A-S-A, -A -A Massalong. Now, this is a killer offer. We have dudes crushing it right now with this one, but it takes a little bit of ingenuity. You got to sort of run from that Facebook ban hammer, but there's other things, right? If you're not a Facebook buyer that this might do well with, right? So we've already been talking about like Telegram groups, different groups that you, you can run through. There's all sorts of like Facebook, groups to help dudes out. These are some of the places that you might want to stop and take a peek. Our last offer today is Revive Daily. Now, Revive Daily is a little bit different, right? So it's not in the male enhancement prostate sort of field. It's weight loss. But this weight loss offer is super, super great, right? And it's also helping that same type of dude that's struggling with these other aspects of his life. He's probably not got his fitness right? Checked out. And so this one can really help them. I love the look and the layout of this VSL. Super, super great. Very attractive and clean. I think it would work really well for people that are wanting to put it with like a, their brand, not just like random Facebook ads, but it's crushing as well with random Facebook ads, right? So it's a really great offer. It's written by some of the very best in the game. It is a proven offer. They're seeing a conversion rate of three to 6% with the best affiliates and EPCs above two dollars some of the best dudes getting like six dollars even more so it's a really solid one it's so good that right anybody can make money with it and so you should probably try to make some money with it too so check it out for those other offers that if you wanted to maybe we talked about that cpa if you don't have an account manager to talk to that about you can reach out to us at affiliates at digistore24.com let's talk about what i'm excited to talk about today so there's an interesting spot at copy accelerator a couple of weeks ago where a guy got on the stage who didn't look like your typical marketer dude. He was sort of, sort of uh, an older dude, sort of shaggy, didn't look like, what is this guy doing with marketing? And he got and talked, it turns out he's not a marketer at all. Like I said before, Stefan Jordy did a great job of curating this event. And so he, he said, hey, we want to help marketers in this changing space of AI. And so what can we do to provide them with value? And so they spent a whole day just like dedicated to AI and its applications to marketing. But they brought in Reese Jones and Reese Jones isn't a marketer at all, right? He's really like a, a mad scientist. Reese Jones is part of the original like dudes in Silicon Valley, like the dudes you heard about where he was telling me these stories where they would like get together and just big hangouts and there'd be dudes, you know, tripping out like crazy. There'd be some dudes smoking drugs over there 
And then there'd be just like these geeky dudes who just love to, to show each other what they were working with and what they were playing with. And so it was that whole group that really invented the internet. And some of the things that Reese did were amazing. So he started telling me about how they were able to hack uh, dial-up phones. And so what they did back then, and, and I have a point to this story, right? What they did is they would get into Captain Crunch boxes and they had these little plastic toy whistles that you could win. They would take the whistles and if you turn it just right and blew just right, it would make a pitch. And this pitch, they somehow figured out that it could hack these telephones. And so you could go to any pay phone that you usually had to pay for, you blow the whistle just right, and would turn it into maintenance mode. So now with this phone, they could literally do anything they wanted. They could call across the globe to another phone that was over here and talk to themselves, right? Just by using this phone. Well, eventually they started doing this. They showed it off to these other people, these hangouts. Then People started wanting to figure out. He ended up making kits. His professor at the time told him, hey, like the phone company ordered like a couple thousand of these kits. And then he was like, should I stay in school or not? And he was like, no, man, this is, this is real world. Like get out there and go do it. So he left school. He starts doing this. The phone companies used this hack to figure out how to stop it. And then they started doing two tones. So now you had to hit it, not just with the first whistle, but a second whistle. And, and really he like changed how they were doing phone stuff. So then he goes on and he starts hanging out with, more of these computer dudes starts figuring out networking, right? And so how do you network computers together? So like stuff that we now take for super granted, he was part of that whole group, did stuff with the government, moved into from, from technological hacking all the way to, to biohacking. He says that's where really the hackers are now is they're, they're biohacking. And so rather than just trying to mess with computers, they're looking at biology as if it was a computer and what could you do to hack it? And there's some really cool stuff where they're, they're printing up DNA then splicing it into plants and creating all sorts of like interesting things out of this. And uh, the future is insane. It's really crazy. But why am I talking about this to you guys, the affiliates and vendors at Digistore24? One of the things that, that I learned while talking to, to Reese was all these discoveries usually came in moments of play. So they were just goofing off, right? And when they were playing around and goofing off and just testing things and trying things and weren't even necessarily like trying to make a buck, that's when they discovered things that were, or were incredible. And so Maybe in your business, think about where you can start bringing more creativity into your company, right? What things can you do to sort of goof around and play? And, and I've always thought like it's important with all the money you're bringing in to dedicate at least a certain portion of that money to doing things like testing and just goofing off and trying things that maybe you don't think will work, but it, it's worth a try. A lot of the stuff that he was talking about AI really came because people were thinking about biology and how that worked and they transferred it into computers. So... A lot of times as well, like maybe you have your, your certain area of expertise and there's this other thing that, that maybe sort of related to marketing, but it's a little bit different than what you're doing now. And you can approach it with this fresh angle, this different perspective than other people are doing it, applying lessons from, from here to there. And maybe that puts you ahead of everybody else. So it, it is super cool. The last thing that I think was super important is that during that conversation with Reese, right? So first he spoke from the stage and then we had a three hour conversation afterwards. But one of the things was, when you're trying to learn and become a better marketer, don't just listen to marketers, right? Because marketers say the exact same thing. And that's what we can tell about Instagram. If I have one more Instagram guru tell me about the, the next best AI tool, right? Uh, I'm going to lose it. They all are saying the same thing, same thing, same thing. So maybe you need to step out and talk to somebody who's not directly related to us in marketing. Step away, see the big picture and see how that can affect and change your business for the better. Guys, I hope that, that that's really hit you. I hope that you can implement that in your business. If you need anything from us, right, and you don't have an account manager, you can always hit us up at affiliates at digistore24.com. We can try to help you out, hook you up with some of these sweet offers. Make sure you like and subscribe every single Monday morning. And until then, remember, open minds, open hearts, open wallets. <laughs>